The day of the total solar eclipse will not only bring an amazing show of the sun and moon, there will also be planets and a comet visible for the millions of Americans in the path of totality. Don't forget our live coverage from French Lick begins at 2 p.m. on April 8th. Meteorologist Christina San Juan is talking with retired NASA astronaut Commander Terry Vertz about what else we could see when darkness takes over the sky that Monday afternoon. While the sun and moon take center stage for the spectacle, Commander Vertz told me the solar system has even more to offer during those few minutes of darkness. Once it gets completely dark, Venus and Jupiter will be able, will be out, you'll be able to see them. Uh, there's a comet called 12P. It looks like devil's horns. Commonly referred to as the Devil's Comet, 12P Pons Brooks only orbits the sun every 71 years. You can catch it sharing the sky with the eclipse as long as you have binoculars or a telescope. Commander Vertz is one of the few to witness these wonders of the solar system firsthand. He described the Earth like a spaceship going through the solar system, and he would know. He spent seven months in one even getting a cosmic perspective of an eclipse during a mission in 2015. We looked out and sure enough, you could see this big black spot on Earth, you know, maybe 100 miles or maybe a couple hundred miles across. It was pretty big um, moving across Earth. It, it was really amazing to see. Uh, it, it put it in perspective that the Earth is like this spaceship going through the solar system and there's other planets and moons out there. Now, it's not often you get to meet someone that has seen a solar eclipse from space. In case you're wondering, they didn't need eye protection since they were looking down at Earth and not up to the sun like we will be doing in less than two weeks. In the studio, I'm meteorologist Christina San Juan, WHS 11 on your side.